Back here at home, authorities are trying to track who is behind a cyber attack that's crippled computer and phone service at Lurie Children's Hospital over the past three days. The attack also led to the cancellation of many appointments and procedures. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey joins us from Lurie with the latest. Megan? Right, Jim and Marie, we know that this breach is affecting electronic systems here in Streeterville and at Lurie's 55 offices across our area. Cybersecurity experts tell me they are not surprised that this outage has lasted so long. Meanwhile, parents tell me they would like more communication. Jennifer Samberin traveled into the city from the western suburbs Wednesday morning with her nine-year-old daughter Ellie to undergo a procedure that had taken months to schedule. Samberin said they checked in three different times before they were suddenly told the procedure was canceled due to a network outage. Since then, she hasn't heard a peep from Lurie about what's happening, and she said she, like other parents, is frustrated and concerned about when they'll be able to reschedule this important procedure. I haven't received any communication, and there's still no way to get a hold of anyone for information. So are you just in limbo right now? We are just waiting to hear next steps. I'm at their mercy at this point. If I were to guess, I would say it may be a ransomware attack. Well, we don't know the specifics of this particular cybersecurity threat. Um, my main... Cybersecurity expert Dr. Vahid Bezadun says attacks against healthcare institutions are unfortunately becoming more common. He says a hospital's cyber ecosystem is very complex and could have many vulnerable spots. A system that was vulnerable, that was not very well protected, or it may have been through phishing and social engineering, maybe a particular user, a particular employee was compromised and then that compromise escalated into a full on network uh, breach. And in their last update, Lurie said they were working to establish a call center. We are still waiting for more information about that system. For now, live in Streeterville, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. Megan, thank you.